the PlayStation 4 stands as one of the best-selling consoles ever. It was a huge bounce back from the PS3 era, and it showed, not just in the number of units sold, but in the games that were on it. Whether it was exclusive titles or multi-platform entries that simply played better on the PS4, these titles truly stand out. So allow me to show you the best PlayStation 4 games of all time. And to keep this video from being too lengthy, we'll give you just a brief overview of the games. Days Gone It's curious that I start with Days Gone, because if you ask players, you either like the game or you don't. There's no middle ground. The title plays like many action-adventure games before it, including Red Dead Redemption or the Metro titles, and that might have been part of the problem. Regardless, you're Deacon St. John, a guy who's stuck in a post-apocalyptic world filled with infected and no real reason to live. Your job is to wander around the world and survive all it throws at you, along with uncovering what happened to your wife before the world went to chaos. Nothing stays stagnant in this place, so be on the lookout for things trying to kill you. Until Dawn Horror games are incredibly difficult to tackle, because if the scares don't feel earned, then what's the point? Until Dawn was an attempt to break that mold, and it worked, inspiring many other titles down the line, including The Quarry. You play as a group of friends who go back to a resort lodge where bad things happened a year previously. From that point on, you're in a fight for your lives. Every decision could lead to you or others dying, and that means the game can end in many different ways. Death Stranding When it comes to the works of Hideo Kojima, you never know what you're going to get with him, and Death Stranding proved that to a fault. The package walking simulator, as many have called it, was far from the supernatural epic that some thought it would be. But then again, Kojima never does what you expect. Even trying to compare this title to other games is nearly impossible. That said, it was a unique experience, and it helped solidify his studio as one of the best around. A sequel is coming, and I just hope it makes more sense than the first one. What Remains of Edith Finch If you liked games such as Gone Home, then What Remains of Edith Finch further proved why this genre has so much potential within its stories. The game took place within the family home of the Finches. You play as Edith, who is the only member of the family remaining. The game doesn't have action sequences. It merely involves exploring and going through the memories of her family members to learn the truth about how they died and what connects them all together. It's a short yet deep experience, and many enjoyed playing it. Control Welcome to the Bureau of Control. I hope you survive the experience. Remedy took their previous gameplay experiences in Alan Wake and Quantum Break and threw together a unique, power-filled supernatural story that is anything but basic. Then again, that's what people loved about the game. Using unique powers and a gun you find, you'll work your way through the mysterious bureau to try and find out the truth about your brother and stop the malevolent force that's trying to destroy it from within. Undertale Easily one of the best indie titles ever, and one of the most unique RPGs ever, Undertale took inspiration from Earthbound and other classic RPG adventures and built a world that no one truly expected. The title is iconic, no matter the platform you played it on, and Sans has a shrug for you if you haven't played it yet. The game's plot is simple. You're a person who falls into a world of monsters. What you do next is up to you. Will you fight your way out? Will you be a pacifist and see where that leads you? All roads lead to the ending, but the end is never truly what you expect. Right, Sans? Doom Eternal I bet none of you had a revival of the Doom franchise on your gaming bingo cards over the last few generations, and yet, with the 2016 Doom title and then Doom Eternal, the franchise was arguably never stronger. It didn't hurt that Bethesda got their hands on it and helped make this first-person massacre of a shooter great in all the right ways. What more do you need to know? You're the Doom Slayer. Go in, kill everything in sight, and have a blast doing it. Near Automata Platinum Games made it clear that if it wasn't for Near Automata, they would have had to shut down. Taking everything they learned from Bayonetta and other titles, they crafted a unique world and gameplay system that had players begging for more. Oh, and they liked 2B as well. 
Everything about this title screamed Platinum Studios. The characters, the story, the numerous endings you could get, and so on. If you haven't tried out this title, you're really missing out. Bloodborne Once Dark Souls shifted our gaming mindsets, it was going to be curious to see how From Software expanded upon it. Sure enough, they turned to a more gothic horror theme with Bloodborne. It turned out so well that people are still begging for a remaster. You'll be a lone wanderer in the town of Yarnum. You're there to learn the truth about this place and yourself. Whether you survive or not will depend on how quickly you can master the combat system and not die. Good luck with that. Resident Evil 2 Remake Everyone's going to have a take on remakes, but few can deny that Resident Evil 2 Remake is one of the best of the last several generations. Capcom took their beloved zombie classic and reworked it, both visually and gameplay-wise, to fit the mold of a more modern epic, and it worked. Whether you play as Leon S. Kennedy or Claire Redfield, the overall goal is the same. Get the heck out of Raccoon City. The improved graphics and gameplay loop helped make that journey fun and heart-pounding, all at the same time. The Last of Us Part 2 I admit that many of you likely have feelings about The Last of Us Part 2, but remember it did sell well and was Game of the Year for many. As such, it belongs in my video, even if it didn't measure up to the impact of the original classic. What made this one so much different from the previous title was the tone. Everything was darker, grimmer, and more brutal. The death of a certain someone didn't help things, and watching Ellie go down a path of madness was heartbreaking. Then again, maybe that was the whole point. Uncharted 4 – A Thief's End Every story has to come to an end, and Naughty Dog knew that Uncharted 4 – A Thief's End had to be the end for Nathan Drake. Many would argue this game wasn't necessary, but it happened, and we should appreciate it given how it gave a nice nightcap to the beloved thief. Nathan reconnects with his brother after decades apart, and they go on one last epic adventure. To their credit, Naughty Dog did end Nathan's story with the title, and the gameplay mechanics and events were as crisp and action-packed as you would expect. Marvel's Spider-Man when Insomniac Games revealed they were making Marvel's Spider-Man, fans were stunned, and as it became ever so clear that this was Marvel's answer to the Batman Arkham titles, they knew they were in for a treat. And oh yes, we got a treat. This unique telling of Peter Parker's world showed him at a new high and devastating low. He had to deal with trying to keep his life balanced while also taking on new threats like Mr. Negative. Between the beautiful graphics, numerous side quests, and incredible combat, players knew that Insomniac did right by the beloved wall crawler. Final Fantasy VII Remake The first entry of the remake saga, Square Enix took what they had learned from previous, mainly Final Fantasy, titles in terms of looks and gameplay, and decided to rebuild their most beloved title from the ground up. Thankfully, it was really good. Final Fantasy VII Remake focused on the Midgar story from the OG game while putting some key twists on the narrative. Cloud, Tifa, Sephiroth, Aerith, and the others have never looked better, and with an overhauled gameplay system, the only problem with the title was players wanted more right then and there. God of War When Kratos' Greek saga ended, many thought that it was the true end of his time in the gaming spotlight. Yeah, we were wrong about that, folks. The PS4 God of War title from Santa Monica Studio changed everything we knew about the character, all the while shifting the gameplay to something more akin to Uncharted or even Spider-Man. Seeing Kratos as a father again and trying to be the best version of himself for his son while everything was going wrong on their quest was surprisingly beautiful. It shows you can reveal new layers to characters by changing their circumstances slightly. Horizon Zero Dawn While many of the games on this list are continuations of past franchises, Horizon Zero Dawn proved that Sony was still in the business of making franchises they could bank on. If you like franchises such as The Legend of Zelda, Uncharted, and even the latter God of War titles, you'll want to embark on this new journey with Aloy. The world of Horizon Zero Dawn is what helped get people's attention. It's post-apocalyptic while also mixing ancient cultures and cybernetic monsters. 
Just when you think you understand this place, something epic happens to change your perspective. It's no wonder the game sold well and had an equally epic sequel. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt It's so hard to talk about The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt in just a few words, mainly because this adventure is so expansive that it would take a while to cover all it does. What I can say quickly is that this ending to Geralt's story expands and builds upon the adventures of the first two titles in ways that made many happy. The realm you get to explore is huge. Just the main game can take you countless hours to complete, and then you have two massive DLC expansions to enjoy. So if you haven't yet, toss a coin to your Witcher and dive in. God of War Ragnarok one of the more recent entries on this list, God of War Ragnarok was the conclusion to the Norse saga that Kratos and his son Atreus set out upon. This installment further expanded on everything we already talked about for God of War. Not only that, it paid off all the loose threads that the first game and the Greek saga left hanging. We finally got to fight Thor and Odin. Atreus got more story time, we learned even more about Kratos' second wife, and we got a big tease about what might come next. Persona 5 Royal Oh, you didn't see that coming? You should have. After all, Persona 5 Royal was a PS4 exclusive when it first came out, and it was on that system that the series finally got the recognition it deserved. For those who played past Atlas RPGs, you'll be at home here as you take on the role of the Phantom Thieves. The game is beautiful from top to bottom, the characters are great and have resonating stories, and the RPG gameplay is fun in all the ways that matter. So don your mask, you got a world to save. Red Dead Redemption 2 it's not a stretch to say that Red Dead Redemption 2 took quite a while to release, but once it did, we saw that it was worth it and that Rockstar Games was right to take their time to flesh out this beautiful cowboy adventure. If you played the original title, you'll know the greatness that awaits you here. What helped sell this prequel was the depth of the gang you were a part of. As the Wild West was being tamed, you had to make choices that affected everyone around you. When you add that to fun gameplay and a striking soundtrack, this game truly hits all the right notes. Hollow Knight Some of you might be mad that a Metroidvania title has entered the top 5 over other titles, but when you think about what Hollow Knight is and the impact it's had on the community, how could I not put it here? This is easily one of the most fun and unique Metroidvania titles ever, and that's saying something. You'll go into an underground world and fight off bugs and other creatures as you attempt to get treasure and unlock secrets. Ghost of Tsushima The only problem with Ghost of Tsushima is that I likely should have put it higher on this list. Many consider it one of the best video games of all time, one that took lessons from many titles that came before it and emphasized swordplay like Sekiro did back in 2019. Everything about the title is impressive, the world is beautiful, the story is deep, and the side quests you can go on are numerous and fun. You're encouraged to go around and do what you want when you want. Just be ready to draw your blade at a moment's notice. Grand Theft Auto V If you somehow didn't know, Grand Theft Auto V is one of the best-selling video games of all time, somehow. No, really, it sold nearly 200 million units, despite the game coming out in 2013, and I'd be willing to bet that many of you played it on PS4. While it absolutely played like the many Rockstar entries before it, that didn't make it a bad game. The intertwining stories of three men trying to get out from under the thumb of corrupt officials was surprisingly deep, and the gameplay was something you could keep coming back to, especially in online mode. Elden Ring Admittedly, many of you likely didn't play Elden Ring on the PS4 for one reason or another, but it was on there. This was the culmination of everything that From Software had done with their Dark Souls franchise and its offshoots, and it showed in all the ways that mattered. There's a reason this title got Game of the Year, and we should all be grateful we got to partake in it. Going away from the linear areas and traveling through an open world was awesome. And when you added that to the improved gameplay, map system, and how you could build your character, it was truly legendary. The Last of Us Remastered 
While the original game was on the PS3, the Naughty Dog Classic got a huge upgrade for the PS4, and The Last of Us Remastered helped showcase just how good the game looked on the new system. Unlike the Part 1 overhaul that would happen on PS5, there isn't that much new here outside of the graphical updates. But that doesn't matter in this action-adventure title that you all likely know well. No matter what system you play it on, the story of Joel and Ellie grips all who partake in it, and the classic-style Naughty Dog gameplay makes it something eternally special. And that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed the video and want to see more from us. If so, please check out our past videos and then subscribe while also enabling notifications so you can see when a new video releases. Also, don't forget to leave a comment so we can hear your thoughts or feelings about our list. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Guide Ranks.